My name is Marco Moro. I'm editorial director at the magazine Renewable Matter, uh, an international free magazine about circular economy and the bioeconomy. Last week I was in Rimini, where we presented an exhibition about circular economy in Italy. And there we made some video interviews. Uh, the exhibition was part of the program of Ecomondo, the biggest event in Italy about um, waste management, clean and green technologies, bioeconomy, and now, of course, strongly focusing about uh, uh, the circular economy. The exhibition uh, was entitled Ex Novo Materials in the Circular Economy, and uh, its aim was to give a tangible identity to the trends that are shaping the circular economy in Italy. We wanted to show what actually is the circular economy in Italy. Why ex novo? Ex novo means something completely new or something that has to be built starting from zero. So the title would be only provocative. As also in Italy, we are not really starting from zero in building a circular economy. Uh, what we have to do as something really new is to look through new lenses to many things that, until now, uh, we have called waste. So, beside uh, some important sectors where circularity is, is well established since 20 years ago in Italy, with important performances of recycling, like uh, recycling of steel, plastics, aluminium, uh, paper, glass, or wood uh, packaging, we also presented our uh, industrial excellence in uh, the bioeconomy, in example, in biopolymers and biochemicals production. A target of that initiative was, in fact, uh, to start a new narrative about a quite usual practice, that is recycling, uh, showing what recycling can do in terms of providing resources for new production of materials, uh, components, uh, semi-finished products, uh, uh, and finally, consumer goods. In the same time, we wanted to highlight the role of research and innovation. So the most innovative area in the exhibition hosted a selection of startups active in the fields of bio-based materials and upcycled materials. Uh, that selection uh, showed some really interesting features. In some way, those startups are very Italian, uh, well connected to global trends, uh, but often with uh, their roots in the local dimension. Uh, Italy is a quite poor country in terms of raw material resources. So uh, their innovative materials often looks to uh, waste and byproducts of different sectors, especially to agri-food systems, uh, byproducts and waste, wool, casein, and other streams of bio-waste of bio-byproducts. Uh, these two produce materials uh, that became new resources for different applications in many sectors, ranging from building industry, packaging, fiber, and composite manufacturing, uh, clothing, cosmetics, uh, automotive, and so on. We also have an example of upcycled plastic waste from separate collection to produce a high performing plastic for special packaging. So, enjoy the selection of video about the Italian circular and bio-based innovation. My name is Stefano Babini, I'm co-founder and director of Microplast, a startup company based in Varese uh, province. Uh, we work uh, with biomaterials. Uh, our product is a composite material produced from uh, uh, vegetable fibers and uh, mycelium, I mean Fuji roots. The function of the mycelium is to be the binding element of what we produce. Uh, our market focus, we, are, we mostly work for the biodesign uh, green building sector nowadays, even if there is a lot of interest also in uh, other industrial, uh, industrial sector. Uh, we, we started our collaboration uh, uh, from the beginning uh, with the Utrecht University in, uh, in the Netherlands. 
we have a know-how agreement with the uh, microbiology department and uh, with them we are developing uh, different products and uh, uh, different mix in order to optimize uh, the physical and chemical characteristic of our products. from AP Polymers. AP Polymers is a small R&D company. We are based in Trieste in northeast Italy and our aim is to develop new materials from bio-based resources. Uh, one of the main materials that we start from is cashew nut shell liquid. It is a byproduct of the cashew industry. It is produced in massive amounts in the equatorial uh, regions. It can be used to develop an interesting series of materials and we have worked on developing epoxy resin formulations for the use in composite, fiber reinforced composite materials, for the use in polyurethane foams, applications, coatings, adhesives and sealants. Uh, these materials are very useful for the industrial uh, sector because they lower the environmental impact of fin finished products such as construction materials, such as uh, um, automotive uh, parts and vehicles and also uh, leisure materials and sports materials. Um, what we do is uh, we develop these new materials and we aim to further uh, cross-valorize cash and shell liquid with other bio-based raw materials such as lignin, which is a derivative of lignocellulosis, lignocellulosic uh, um, uh, extraction materials. Uh, also other materials such as uh, other bio-based oils, uh, natural oils, fatty acids, fish oils uh, and the like. Uh, we think that the discussion uh, about bio-based materials is uh, multifaceted and has many aspects. One of these aspects is to um, uh, give an impulse to circular economy, therefore increasing the um, number of byproducts that re-enter the production cycle. And this is the main aim of AEP Polymers and this is what we do in our everyday work and it's where we think the economy is going. So we want to reuse all the bio-based byproducts from uh, food processing, agricultural processing, from industrial processes, in order to put them again in the production cycle. My name is Mirko Giansetti, I'm a chemical engineer from uh, TCP Engineering, which is a new startup which was born uh, only a few months ago. Uh, our goal is to treat uh, waste of wool, uh, so uh, wool which has not been used uh, for uh, textile purposes, to uh, obtain a new kind of fertilizer. A fertilizer which can be used uh, in uh, biological agriculture and for agricultural purposes. Uh, our startup was born uh, um, after a project, a European project, which uh, uh, ended in uh, June of uh, 2016. Uh, so we would like to commercialize this new kind of uh, plants for uh, treating the waste pool to obtain the new fertilizer and after that to uh, try to optimize this treatment also to treat other type of uh, waste uh, coming from uh, for example animals like chicken feathers or uh, uh, trying to uh, treat uh, also other kind of waste uh, such as uh, um, end of life waste uh, for example moquettes uh, or uh, textiles which has been used for uh, clothing purposes. My name is Giorgio Viglia, uh, I come from uh, Assi and uh, I'm a co-founder of uh, Polyphenolia SRL company. Uh, Polyphenolia was born uh, one year ago and uh, is a cosmetic company uh, that uh, tried to create uh, uh, a new uh, concept of cosmetics. So starting from the winery by product, uh, we extract uh, polyphenols uh, and uh, we use these polyphenols in order to create uh, an exclusive uh, cosmetics. Uh, we are now uh, working on uh, a particular type of uh, winery by product that is uh, a Barbera uh, winery by product. Uh, it is an autochthon uh, product of our region. Uh, we study these uh, polyphenols in order to understand the action uh, with the cells of the uh, skin and we formulate uh, the cosmetic using a very uh, low amount of uh, uh, parabens and all other parts that are not necessary for, uh, for the cosmetics. We use a high quality material like hyaluronic acid with a high molecular weight we use uh, shea butter and uh, argan oil and uh, the focus is uh, that uh, 
uh, we want to recover uh, a product that is now without uh, any economical uh, value but, and transform it in a, in a high value product uh, like a cosmetic cream. Now we are selling uh, uh, two different types of uh, products. One is uh, called Origine and the other one is uh, called Vita. Uh, both are uh, uh, formed with uh, uh, Barbero uh, polyphenols and uh, the important thing is that we want to, to combine uh, the innovation uh, that we are uh, in, in our uh, company with the facilities, uh, with uh, all the in vitro tests, with the tradition of the, our land, so in, uh, in, uh, in, in order to uh, promote also uh, our, our territory and our uh, culture.